we will just show you some simple knots. Um, there's not too many in rope access. We've got uh, figure of nines, figure of eights, alpines, bunnies, and stopper knots. We're looking to make one turn, changing hands, keeping the shape of the knot all the time, so like that, round the back, and then we're putting it through the hole. Dead simple, figure of eight knot. Okay, so next on the list is a figure of nine knot. Um, so again, we're keeping both sides of the rope nice and neat and parallel, keeping the hole open, and then instead of going through the front like we did on the figure of eight, we're just going one more turn and then through the back. Nice and neat and parallel, nice strong knot, comes undone once it's been loaded quite easily. Uh, next on the list is the Alpine butterfly used for, uh, we use it on a rope to rope and we use it for joining um, two anchors on a Y hang as well. So we're starting with a long line of rope, um, we're making a twist and pulling it out between our fingers. Important that we keep this shape here and then we're crossing both sides of the rope, taking the middle bit. I can swap hands at this point, okay? And then I reach round the back, keeping the shape, and I can put it through the middle again. So I'm always keeping the middle open so that I can keep the shape of the knot, keep it nice and neat, all right? One alpine butterfly. Next, we're gonna do the bunny knot, um, used for joining two anchors together when they're quite close together, okay? Uh, when they're further apart, it's more of a problem. Um, but when they're close together, it's perfect. We need quite a long bite of rope for this, all right? So depending on how far apart your anchors are, we start with a figure of eight. So that would, if I pulled the rope through there, just be a large figure of eight, okay? But what I'm doing is pulling a bite of rope through until the loop gets to the end, and then we take the bite over the top, and then seat it. The bite of rope that comes over the top, it's important that it seats on top of them there. Okay? Nice and neat and parallel, so you can see exactly what's going on. And then we have two loops to clip into the anchors. Okay, so next we're going to have a look at putting our cow's tails together. Cow's tails we use for um, aid climbing and work positioning, okay, and tasks on site. So we're going to get a piece of uh, dynamic rope, uh, find our two ends, and we're going to pull them through until we find the middle of our two cow's tails, okay? In the end, we're then going to tie a simple granny knot, okay? An overhand knot, or a lot of people call it a granite knot, simplest knot you could tie. So we have that in one side, and then the same in the other side. Okay. Then we just check to see that both our cow's tails are not to the right length. Okay. Then we're going to take the two ends and put them down through the centre of our D-ring. We're now going to retie our overhand knots, okay? So they're threaded around the D of the harness, okay? So we're going to take the ends and pass it through the overhand. As it comes through here, it's staying nice and neat and parallel with the knots, okay? So it wants to be nice and close, and then it's coming round the back, still following this loop here. Keep it coming. Still nice and neat and parallel, and then through at the end. Okay. Uh, that was one side, so we're going to do the same again on the other side. So a re-threaded overhand knot. So we're going to find our end. Following it through. Following this one, nice and neat and parallel, coming round. And then back through. So once it's tied, you can see, you seat it up, nice and neat and parallel, okay? 
We don't want our short cow's tail too long, so that's kind of about the right length. It'll change for op certain operations, but certainly for training, that's about perfect. The barrel knot is the knot that we use to tie our cow's tails into the carabiners and then into the connections. Okay, so we want to start about halfway down, give yourself plenty of rope because we can adjust it later. You always need more than you think with the barrel knot. Thumb pointing upwards, and we're just going to take a bite of rope and pinch it in your hands. Your thumb once, twice, and on the third time, we're putting it back down where the thumb was and pulling the loop upwards. It's a little bit like a clovich, but it's going around a bite of rope. So it's pulling tight upon itself like that. And then we take a carabiner, clip it into that, and then we're going to seat the knot up nice and tight. 